So now let's talk about the ALS management, our advanced EMTs, our paramedics. What do we do? So first, of course, we're going to look at same thing, BLS for ALS. Give oxygen, give albuterol, takes two seconds. Okay, we talked earlier about that duo neb. We can pop in ipotropium in there. Albuterol opens up the lungs. Ipotropium, dry secretions. Great. Well, we did that. Well, now what do we do? Get them on the, the heart monitor. While you're there, just do a full 12 with EKG. Don't get tunnel vision, not going to hurt. Print two out, you did your job. Good, IV access. Now let's talk more about CPAP and BiPAP. Consider CPAP and BiPAP. Why? CPAP and BiPAP are going to keep the alveoli open, which is where oxygen enters the body. Right? That's the whole point. So in CPAP, the patient has to inhale and exhale against the same peak. It's more difficult to exhale because the expiratory pressure stays the same as the inspiratory pressure. Now hear me on this, folks. If you have this in your ambulance, hear me out. In BiPAP, the patient can inhale and exhale against different PEEP. It's easier to exhale against a decreased expiratory pressure because they're having a hard time exhalating in the first place, right? That's where the weed's coming from, right? So. Listen here, folks. We want to consider levobuterol, albuterol, duoneb. Essentially, what's in your protocol? They all work. We also want to consider at this point steroids, okay, to reduce the inflammation. What were the three pillars of asthma? Bronchoconstriction, I got too much mucus, and inflammation. So think about it, folks. Think about this. If I go to the patient and say, okay, you got a problem with your constriction. I'm going to open that up with albuterol and epinephrine. We'll talk about epinephrine in a moment. Albuterol, epinephrine, open. Ipotropium, try those secretions. Inflammation, let's do steroids like cyamedrol, okay? Like dexamethasone, right? We have that in the ambulance, folks. 